India is currently facing an alarming aviation safety challenge as multiple major airports have reported incidents of GPS spoofing and GNSS interference. The central government officially confirmed these incidents in parliament. According to the details shared, major airports including Delhi, Kolkata, Mumbai, Hyderabad, Amritsar, Bengaluru and Chennai have all recorded cases of GPS spoofing and interference with satellite-based navigation systems. This issue directly affects aircraft navigation and can potentially impact flight operations. In November 2023, India's aviation regulator, the DGCA, Directorate General of Civil Aviation, made it mandatory for all airlines and airports to report every such incident. Since then, reports from across the country have been steadily increasing. Civil Aviation Minister Ram Mohan Naidu explained that whenever satellite-based navigation is disrupted, India's minimum operating network, which relies on traditional ground-based navigation systems, plays a crucial role in keeping flights safe. The government also acknowledged that interference with satellite signals is a serious aviation safety concern and therefore monitoring systems and technical investigation procedures have been strengthened. Parliament was assured that every major airport is now required to log such disturbances regularly so that potential threats can be addressed immediately. What exactly is GPS spoofing? GPS spoofing is essentially a cyber attack. In this attack, fake satellite signals are transmitted by malicious actors, causing aircraft or any GPS-based device to show incorrect location or corrupted navigation data. If an aircraft receives false coordinates, it may display inaccurate positioning, misleading terrain warnings, or incorrect flight path information. This can cause the aircraft to drift away from its actual course or believe it is in a situation that doesn't exist. Recently, near Delhi airport, several aircraft received incorrect location data, off by as much as 60 nautical miles. Due to the severity of the interference, some flights were diverted as a precaution to nearby airports like Jaipur and Lucknow. Why is this so dangerous? GPS or GNSS interference near airports poses multiple technical and operational risks. 1. Navigation system disruption. Modern aircraft heavily rely on satellite-based navigation. Any disturbance can cause errors in aircraft position, altitude speed. This can lead to route deviation or accidental entry into restricted or sensitive airspace, creating a major national security concern. 2. Failure of critical onboard safety systems. Important flight systems such as runway awareness tools, terrain awareness and warning systems, TAWS. Autopilot are all dependent on precise GPS signals. Spoofing can cause false warnings, system malfunction, incorrect terrain alerts. These issues significantly increase the risk of collisions with terrain or obstacles, especially during landing. Three, high risk. During landing and approach landing is the most sensitive phase of flight. Aircraft fly close to the ground, visibility may be low, and pilots rely heavily on precise navigation input. GPS interference can cause misalignment with the runway, glide path errors, unexpected go-around situations. Four, increased pilot and ATC workload when several aircraft in the same airspace simultaneously receive wrong GPS data. Air traffic control cannot accurately track positions. Pilots must manually cross-verify instruments workload spikes for both pilots and ATC. Even a minor additional emergency can dramatically increase accident risk. How India is responding to prevent hazardous situations? DGCA has mandated compulsory reporting of every interference event. Airports are strengthening surveillance and monitoring. Technical teams are investigating the sources of interference. Traditional ground-based navigation systems are being reinforced as a backup to satellite-based systems. The goal is to ensure that despite spoofing attempts, Air travel in India remains safe and secure. If you'd like, I can also create 